Welcome to Dent Reviews. This is a quick review of the Orasonic Rockets in-ear headphones. Um, these are basically a very high quality, small in-ear dynamic driver. Um, they're 5.1 millimeter dynamic driver, so it's a single driver. Um, if you know about output impedance, uh, being a dynamic driver it has its advantages over a balanced armature. Uh, it's a very durable cable. I love this cable. Feels great. Looks great. Um, it's got a very nice Y adapter that caters to a lot of cases because of the protruding, protruding ring there. So you should have no problem there with most cases. Um, the Y split is excellent because it doesn't merge the cables and it just basically joins them instead of physically combining them. Which may, in my opinion is more reliable. There's less point of failure. Um, the cord lock is excellent with just the right amount of resistance. Um, the rocket flanges here can be removed, but I think they serve to be sort of a pull tab when you want to remove them from your ear. Um, they're very, very solidly anchored into the titanium housing. They claim to be waterproof. Uh, the single flange tips go on over the um, rocket flange, and um, they're okay. I prefer some aftermarket Malek tips, if that's how you say it. Um, the double flange tips are the ones that I prefer. Uh, they just go better, and they work in my ear better. Um, that's basically the overview of the physical earphone, and then they come with this leatherish case with two pockets and a carabiner. Let's see, rockets, yeah. And uh, they come with something called anti loops, which are basically loops that connect to the earphone. And when you're wearing them over your ear, they keep the earphone from rotating or moving. And that just sort of adds a little bit of stability while you're exercising and things like that. I don't find them necessary, but. Um, well, some people complain of the, the cable noise, um, so wearing them over the ear helps in that regard. I really haven't noticed cable noise myself. I, I don't know, maybe I'm not as sensitive to it, but I, I just don't... It, there is some, but there's some with every earphone, and I don't find it noticeably bad with these. Um, and I don't even wear them over the ear most of the time. So that's that. Um, the cable is very nice. The housing is very nice. Just love the design. Now the frequency response... Um, in terms of audio quality, these are very, very smooth, so there's no noticeable peaks or dips. However, I would say that they're muffled in the treble area. They're not bad like the Shure 535 where it just rolls off completely, but there's a gradual and, and deepening roll off in the upper treble. So the sub bass is pretty good. It's a little bit masked by the mid bass. Um, there's more mid bass in relation to the sub bass, uh, but it's not really lacking any sub bass, I don't find. If you EQ that mid bass down, the sub bass sounds phenomenal. Um, and as a matter of fact, I EQ the entire earphone with a negative tilt so that the treble is above the bass, and that sort of evens out the whole response pretty well. Um, but needless to say, I guess some people would call them mid centric, um, focused on the mids. I wouldn't say I hear them as such, I just hear them as a fairly smooth, neutral earphone that lack treble. Um, the treble just is a little bit too far recessed for my liking. It sounds very good and because of that they're very non-fatiguing and you can listen to them for hours and nothing can fatigue you. They're so smooth and there's no harsh treble. However, um, I just I prefer the transparency of something like the Edemotic ER4S whereas these don't give me that real impression that I'm listening to something in a room or in an ambient environment that the recording is supposed to render naturally. I just don't get that transparency with these. But nonetheless, they're very good and they're very smooth, so that might appeal to some people. Sort of a softer, more relaxed treble. So that's kind of them in a nutshell. They're claiming to be waterproof. They're very durable. They're very uh, very well made. They range around $250 to $300, depending on your options. And, and I would, in terms of durability and design, I think these are probably the best I've seen. I'd highly recommend these. They're awesome. If they could bring that treble up, then I think these would be just a killer earphone for me. Um, but to each his own. So if you like that signature, like that response, you can't beat this build quality and this design. Uh, go grab a pair. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything else, just leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. And thank you really much for watching.